good first. Hey guys, welcome to Road to the Show by Professor Man Gaming. Thanks for watching another episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below. Hey guys, welcome back to MLB Road to the Show. Um, this is going to be our fourth start of the year. We're sitting at 1 0. We're going through some notifications. Um, you can see some um, members of our organization being called up to the MLB for whatever reason it was for going into the bullpen. Uh, looking at our contract, looking at what we have to play for six years or to be able to go to free agency. But we're not just going to get started there. We're really going to just be able to ride it out through the organization. Um, so we're looking at, as a, one of our days off, to be able to put some bullpen time in. It's kind of really on a block, fastball velocity to be able to um, work on the changes of pitches or the speed of pitches. A when coach clues in a new team member on available resources. Maybe our slider. Um, maybe we were sitting about 93, 94. Occasionally hitting 95. So we're looking to improve that a little bit. We have a coach who comes in and talks about how we can do some uh, training as well. So if we can get that in, uh, we'll look into it for sure. Um, just not right now, we really need to work on our velocity control. Maybe even add in a fourth pitch, um, which I've not done. So we gotta, we'll find that out together. So as you see our stats, um, and even their stats, they don't have a guy hitting bo uh, above 278. So Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight we wrap up this three-game series between the Trenton Thunder and the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. The Thunder will try to complete the series sweep on the road against their division rivals right after this. Sam Allen gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, in a day and age where runs are scored at alarming rates, this guy's been pretty rock solid. Last three starts, ERA under 2.00. Not an easy thing to do, and you'll know if he's on early. If he's good and on point in the first inning, that usually means he's going to be rock solid throughout the rest of the game. Stepping in, Anthony Deal, and we are set for baseball here this evening. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Fellas, you take a look at our home standing ball club as they come into this one tonight. They have not been playing their best baseball of late as they've dropped four of their last five. Yeah, man, nothing they'd like to do more than to salvage this one, D Roll. After this one, they go on the road for a seven game road trip, so big to get this win here today. Yeah, last game in front of the home folks before you go out for a week. This is a big one. They're going to get it done. The one two. Sent on the ground out to second. Spanos fields it cleanly, and the throw to first is in time. One gun. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. Mark, how do they go about breaking out the brooms on the road? Maddie, this is going to be a fun lineup for me to watch. I get fired up watching these guys because they all have a plan. It works for them. They follow the scouting reports. They grind it out in a video room. I'm interested to see what they've come up with. Turn gun, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Two is left, Pinto. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Now in the box, Joe Emery. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Emery. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Fastball misses away here. It's 2-0. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Ibarra on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Into the box, Carmen Benitez. He drove in one of their two runs in last night's ball game. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one. Well, today's game provides the visiting squad with a chance to complete the series sweep, guys. 
Sure does, and it's always difficult to sweep and win a series on the road, especially when you're playing a division opponent. Two mid-90s fastballs and you're down 0-2. This is where you gotta take a deep breath and pot commit. You're either all in on another fastball or you're finding a way to stay back to attack something off speed. Okay, here's the defense for the home team. And guys, one thing I want you to focus on today when you look at this team on the defensive side of the ball, they're in the top five in fielding percentage. They go about their business a certain way. They make all the routine plays, mix in a few flashy ones, and day after day, they give their pitchers the best chance to be successful. On to first, and there were two down. Striding in, Raleigh Perez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Raleigh. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. And that misses one and one. The one two. Line drive to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the two out base hit, and the top of the inning is still alive. Hey guys, he was obviously trying to bury that slider down and in. Nice execution by the batter right there, keeping his hands inside and fighting that it off for a nice base hit. The second baseman, Greg Jones. First delivery to him on the way. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. As this game progresses, I don't think he's going to want to miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more. It's early. They're a little less aggressive. And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. The payoff pitch. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit. No air. Ready now, Benito Casilla. He's been feeling pretty good about things recently as you see the numbers over his past 10 contests. Swinging a fly ball right down the line and left. Ibarra moves over, one down. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Rick Hernandez. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. The 1-0. Misses for the second ball. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Two and one the count. Can't connect there. It's two and two. This is line to left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. At the plate, Anthony Deal. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Line towards center field. Perry is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Now with the plate, Rodney Evans. Leading off. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Rodney. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Evans is usually more of a threat when facing left-handers like this. The right-handers tend to give him a bit more trouble, so we'll see if that trend continues. Count now a ball and a strike. The 1-1 home. That's popped up. Pinto into shallow left. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Joe Emery. He flew out in his last at bat. Joe. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. And
and he lays off for ball one. He obviously that's wanted that time. call in the corner, but if he continues to put the ball right there, he's going to get that call, and he's going to keep pitching as well as he is. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Hit down the third baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin That's inning number four. So striding in, Carmen Benitez. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and he was a lot. Good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. And it's the pitcher that makes the play to retire the side. So stepping in, Steve Castro. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. Castro. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. One ball, two yeah, Matty, not only is this guy using all four quadrants, he's elevating, getting their eye level up with a quality fastball. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. If you're ever going to see a position player go to the mound, it's going to be in a situation like this. Get him to relax a little bit, focus on his mechanics. And this will get all the way to the 331 sign. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. One and oh, the count. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Ibarra has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Digging in to try it again, Greg Jones, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Owen won the count. A ball and a strike. Fouled away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Drilled on the ground is short. To his left, Pinto. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Settling in now, Benito Casilla, runner in scoring position with two gone. This is line to left, and that's in there, base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. This game is unbelievable sometimes, Dan. There's a bullet knock right there. You're expecting an RBI. He almost hit it too good. He can't even score. Boy, too good is it, Mark. Yeah, this is one right here. It just kind of gets out to the outfielder so quick that the runner not have able to score from second base. And their runners at the corners now. Come set the 0-1. Now a ball hit in the air to straightaway left. This is carrying well out of here. This is one of those pitches that will stick with a pitcher for a long time after a game. Here's a hitter who's average at best, doesn't hit for a lot of power, not a great average. He has him down in the count 0-2, and what does he do? Grooves one right to him, and even an average hitter like this will punish your mistakes. Fastball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. He's safe. A great recovery, but he couldn't get it there in time. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. And low, it's a ball and a strike. 
Heading out towards shallow right. Garcia is there. And that ends the inning. So three runs on four hits, no errors. Ready once again, Joe Emery, who looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he... There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Boy, that's a late mistake that could prove to be fatal. It's only a solo shot, but with the way their starter is throwing it, that could be enough to seal the deal. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. And this evening's contest comes to a close. Five. So we uh, did not do well after the sixth inning. Um, looks like that we need to be able to be more consistent when it comes to... Um, those pitches, especially up 0-2, we have room to be able to get, uh, take chances within the strike zone because we have about three pitches to give. Um, but in this, you know, this episode, as you can see on this title, was a reality check. And we really got a reality check as our um, first real bad game in Double A. So let's hope that we don't repeat it um, within our next episode. But you know, can't make any promises. Um, just trying to do what we all needed. Full games play. We're one and one. ERA, 17 hits, 6 runs, 3 home runs, 2 walks, 28 strikeouts, .79 whip, which is still really good. Um, but we can't commit to any of those hits. And, you know, the Andrews are 14, 2 hits, 2 hits versus left-handers, 0-3, so...